The 1920s was the most revolutionary decade for car manufacturing in the United States. Car ownership grew significantly, significantly by the end of the decade as the total number of registered drivers tripled from 8 million to 23 million. The mass production of automobiles greatly benefited the American economy through the creation of motels, roadside diners, gas stations, mechanic shops, and also through the creations of millions of jobs in car factories and road construction. It also brought about a new pastime, drive-in movie theaters, and made life more convenient. Though, a negative effect that the automobiles would have had was the decline of railroad transportation of the manufacturers of the time. Ford Motor Company and Chrysler Corporation were two of the most popular and influential. Ford's most popular model of the time was the 1927 Model A, and the Chrysler was the 1924 Model B70. The automobile boom of the 20s greatly impacted the economy and society through the creation of new jobs. As a result of more and more people buying vehicles and beginning to make more long distance trips, motels began to spring up. They replaced along the most major and traveled routes to increase the number of travelers who passed by and was a place where they could spend a night between traveling. This in turn would go on to create motel and hotel chains around the country. Roadside diners also developed that offered drivers food that they could get fast and cheap, which would bring about fast food chains. Gas stations became even more numerous on the roadsides, which benefited the already successful oil companies. Mechanic shops also emerged to repair car problems and damage. This would also bring about a new, fun, leisure activity in the following years, drive-in movie theaters. People could park in a lot and watch a movie right from the comfort of their own vehicle though this would eventually be replaced by indoor movie theaters. The mass production of cars would have made life more convenient as it made public buildings and places of interest such as schools and hospitals more accessible because of the newfound ability to travel farther distances. And those who lived far away from cities and rural areas could travel to cities and those who lived in the outskirts of cities would be able to work in those cities. Thousands of jobs were also created in car factories due to the need for more workers to keep up with increasing production. The need for new roads also employed many as local and state governments began funding the constructions of roads and highways. Roads were also made to be suitable for driving in any type of weather. Though the automobile boom of the 20s had multiple positive effects, it did negatively impact the railroad industry as people no longer had to be dependent on the railroads for transportation. Less people traveled by the railroads as they could transport themselves and travel when and where they wanted to. Two of the most popular car manufacturers of the time were Ford Motor Company and Chrysler Corporation. Both were very popular because they made dependable vehicles that working class families could afford and they were two of America's big three automakers. Ford Motor Company was founded in 1903 by Henry Ford and their most popular model of the decade was the 1927 Model A. Ford was the biggest manufacturer during the time because of the reliability of their vehicles and their affordability. Automobiles actually began to be mass produced for the first time during this era thanks to Henry Ford's revolutionary invention of the assembly line. With the assembly line, vehicles could, all, could be made much faster and cheaper. The assembly line allowed for cars and parts to be transported throughout the factories from one workstation to another where workers could add certain parts to the car. The Model A replaced their Model T and came in 16 different body styles. It quickly became the best-selling model of the year, with almost 5 million having been produced. The car's top speed was 60 miles per hour and sold for $385 to $1,400, which would be $5,000 to $20,000 in today's economy. Chrysler Corporation was founded by Walter Chrysler on June 6, 1925, when the Maxwell Motor Company was reorganized into the Chrysler Corporation. Now Chrysler Corporation is a part of the Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Their most popular model of the time was the first model they ever produced, the 1924 Model B70. The car was named the B70 after its top speed of 70 miles per hour and came in nine different body styles. The prototype of the B70 was made and debuted in 1924 before Chrysler had become an official company. It sold for $1,100 to $3,700, which in today's economy would be around $16,000 to $52,000. These companies are still major manufacturers today because of their hard work and the things they did to shape the 1920s. They have left a lasting impression on the automobile industry and will continue to do so.